Hey now, the other show, they, they, they keep up the good show so I'll tell you there you can heal. Keep up the great work. I'll tell you about the story of Land Dawson was a great quarterback out of Purdue in the 50s and drafted with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1957. It's been sporadically on a very bad Pittsburgh Steelers team in the NFL in the old days. When he, he was on and off, he is not a very good career in Pittsburgh. Then, he was signed with the Cleveland Browns for a short time in 60, in 60 and 61. Didn't last long. On a team that's already on a on a disappointing underachieved team, and and Paul Brown was close on its way out of Cleveland at that time, and then traded to the Kansas City Chiefs and signed with the Houston Texans with the Dallas Texans, led by Hank Schramm. That team that are formerly new of the AFL. The Dallas Texans in 1962, at that time, a couple of years removed from a very poor start and rose to an AFL championship, defeated the Houston Oilers in a crazy longest double overtime sudden death they ever playing in NFL history. And then they moved the franchise to Kansas City Chiefs from 1963 to 75. And led the team to Super Bowl one and four. He was the MVP of Super Bowl four. He was a great quarterback. He played in his last starting position. It was in 1971. When later his career with the Chiefs, he was he was hurt so much so he didn't play a lot for the last the, the final few years as a Chiefs until he retired in 1975. And he left the group in Chiefs and it went into the inside the NFL. In fact, he had been inside the NFL from the inception from 1977 until the last broadcast it was in a recap the highlights of soup and a Honolulu. It was 2002. And I remember Len Dawson was a, a great guy for many years on the inside the NFL. With the great guys like Chris Collinsworth, Nick Borianke, Jerry Glenville, and man, those were the good old days. And I remember the, and he was in NBC for uh, for for several years, for a few. And by the time he left after 1983, he was. He was pretty much in the on his way out. He didn't want to come back with NBC as an out. He had been the inside of the NFL for so long to the point he couldn't do it anymore. So he was pretty much been stepped down. Retired from the show. Now he is in 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 present in I, it was it, it is in present now. The age of um seventy four. He'll be turning seventy five later this year. Great guy. The, he was one of the great guys in the history of the NFL. And he was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1987. Was the greatest quarterback he ever played with the with the Chiefs at that time with Hank Schramm. Part of the AFL team. <laughs>